I have a, a wife and a son that goes to North School, which uh, we moved to this community for the schools. They are a wonderful part of this town. Um, I am a member of the Londonderry United Methodist Church. I've been a member for about four years now. I also help produce a program uh, for the local access cable channel for the church every Sunday. Um, my, uh, my, my occupation is a carpenter. I belong to the uh, United Brotherhood of Carpenters of America. Uh, I'm a member of Local 118 in New Hampshire. Uh, I have been voted for, uh, uh, I've been a, um, a trustee on the executive board for that uh, union. Um, I love this town, been here for the, the past five years and have uh, seen um, basically the property taxes that I pay every year go up every single year since I've, I've lived here. And I would like to make a, a, a difference and, and try to um, institute uh, fiscal responsibility. And I'm asking for the, the, the vote from the town uh, to represent the, the working families here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. All right, now we'll start back with the press. And, uh, <laughs> Mr. Gilman, your question to all the members here. Starting with uh, Mike Brown, I guess, and we'll just go right down the line and respond. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Good morning. One of the uh, issues that uh, several of you brought up in your opening statements was balancing fiscal responsibility with offering community services. Uh, it seems to be most people in the community agree that the uh, f fire department is in need of a, a new station to be built, a new facility. Um, however, the cost related to that seems to be an issue and whether the investment is necessary. On this specific issue of firefighter services and facilities, how would you balance the service needs of the community with that fiscal responsibility and on the council, how would you advocate for that? Okay, That's a great question, Bill. Uh, first, uh, I want to let folks know that I did serve on the, the South Fire Station Building Committee as a member of the Budget Committee. I represented the Budget Committee on that uh, particular project. And as we all know, we have a, a nice, uh, clean facility for our firefighters uh, just down the road. Uh, in terms of the North Station, uh, you know, obviously, I'm convinced that there's a need to replace that station, not only as a budget committee member, but also a taxpaying citizen of town. Uh, the one thing that we need to do in terms of your question, in terms of balancing, is, is we, we need to make sure that any decision such as that is made in the context of what's going on in our local economy, in our state economy. Uh, I do think the council made a, an appropriate decision this year uh, to tell the citizens that there were other priorities that needed to be worked on. So I am in support of delaying that decision uh, for an additional year and then reassessing uh, the lay of the land as a counselor if I get elected uh, as to whether we should push forward with that on the warrant. Uh, balancing uh, services with the taxes our, our residents pay is, is a very big challenge. It's something that uh, no counselor or budget committee member takes lightly. Uh, but I think you need to make those decisions in the context of, of what's going on in your real world. I don't think it's just a, uh, it's a matter of fact decision that you just make because something's in the CIP. So in this particular case, I would uh, look at that, that particular project on a year by year basis going forward. Ms. Carrier. I, I look at that question um, as, you know, how do you, how do you balance as you said, the needs to the community to what the services need to be provided. Two words, value spending. Whatever spending we do, what value comes with that? For example, if, if the town needs to spend $50,000, for example, to market property in and around the airport off exit five, that's gonna generate a million to five to six million dollars in revenue for the town, then that's a value for the town, and I support that. Relative to infrastructure, the fire station, um, we'll be voting also on the, um, the renovations to South um, School. Not only do those benefit 
the services in the community. I consider both of those, and, and I support both the renovation to the South School as well as the fire station as investments into the community. In order to attract businesses, you have to have the infrastructure in place. You have to have quality of education. Um, corporations will move into Londonderry if they know that their employees can provide a quality education for their child. They also want to know that their public safety needs are taken care of. So, so it's, it's a value. Um, you have the tangible value, then you have the intangible value. F for example, a, a service that needs to be provided, if it, if it affects the lives of the people within the community, then it has value. Might not have a monetary value, but it has value. Thank you, sir. Mr. Okay. Thank you. Um, also, uh, I must say it was a very good question. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that um, I believe strongly in using the uh, capital improvements plan as a basis for making such decisions. Uh, I believe the fire station was originally the priority number one. And when town council looked at that and compared it to more urgent needs and they moved it out a year. And uh, seeing their rationale, I agree with that. I think that was a wise move. One of my, uh, one of the uh, reasons I believe they did that is that they felt that they needed the money to be moved into uh, road improvements instead for the first year. Uh, one of the things we don't want to uh, let happen as a town is, is let uh, certain infrastructure items degrade for too long because if we do, it's going to end up costing us more money in the long run versus uh, uh, fixing it now when it may we could get more value for a dollar and materials are cheaper and so forth. Uh, I do believe the North Fire Station is a very important item that needs to be done in the next year or two. Um, I work up near the airport, and I know that fire station is going to be supporting uh, probably not only the airport, but also all the industrial areas around there. So as that area starts to grow, that fire station is going to become more and more key. Uh, one of the things I did like about that fire station is that when they designed the new station, and I... Uh, um, I, I believe this was the case when they designed the new station on Young Road. They also designed it so that they could use the same design at the station up in the northern part of town. So this way they didn't have to go through uh, developing another set of plants and so forth. So that shows you a, a good example of how, um, you know, as a town council, I would encourage us to, to look at creative ways to maybe save a couple pennies here and there. So. Um, I do want to say that as a town councilor, I would I will put uh, a high priority on public safety. I think that's one of the key uh, components of what um, local government needs to do, and keeping our infrastructure and our uh, public safety services uh, up to par is a very important component of that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. O'Keefe. Um, well, after listening to my three uh, predecessors, um, I think that. Uh, there's a lot of components to it, and it's not a simple answer. Um, it's, a, it's a real tightrope balancing act to provide services at the level that we do. Um, every year, the town manager and the superintendent present a budget, and every year the budget goes up. And uh, the budget is going up due to cost for employees, most of it, 85% of the tax monies that are spent are on town employees and school district employees. Um, it is, like Mike was saying, you do have to value, uh, put the value on what you're getting for services, but you also have to be considerate of uh, local economics and national economics. And right now, we're in a downturn. Um, and I'm sure most people are affected by that, myself included. Um, I think that it's important to um, consider the taxpayers um, that are suffering out there, and I've heard from a lot of them, and I know that there's both spectrums to that. But all in all, um, I think that one thing that we could do as a community is uh, when you're looking at town services, be able to um, weigh out whether or not a retirement needs to be replaced for a while. Um, can you go without that position for a short time? It's a good idea. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But Unless you try these things and, you know, instead of just automatically replacing things, you got to try. Um, one thing that needs to happen is the state needs to step up to the plate um, through its representatives and through the councils and the school boards. And we all need to work together to come up with a plan and how we're going to continue to fund a broken program, which is uh, the retirement system. 
It's very broken, and it's weighing heavily on everybody in this room that pays taxes. And until we fix that, the taxes are going to continue to go up no matter what you do.